The true richness of the Philippines lies in the diversity of its cultures, the powers of the people's imagination, the fire of creativity, the inspiration of its heritage. The harnessing of this richness bolsters the holistic development of the country and illuminates the way to a brighter future. It is here that the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or the NCCA, plays its crucial role in nation building, working hand in hand with the national government, as well as with the people. The Philippine Development Plan of 2017 to 2022 entails creating a collective vision and aspiration of Filipinos for themselves and for the country. And for the first time, the arts and culture are very appropriately included in such a grand plan. This is acknowledgement of the power of the arts and culture to shape and elevate consciousness and inspire communities. It is an opportune time to mainstream culture into the government's development agenda that will help to achieve the desired outcome of the ambitionati in building a high trust society and establish rootedness in the Filipino community and its culture. The NCCA follows several mandates to encourage the continuing and balanced development of a pluralistic culture by the people themselves to conserve, promote, and protect the nation's historical and cultural heritage, to ensure the widest dissemination of artistic and cultural products among the greatest number of people across the country and overseas for their appreciation and enjoyment, to preserve and integrate traditional culture and its various creative expressions as a dynamic part of the national cultural mainstream, to ensure that standards of excellence are pursued in programs and activities implementing policies that shall encourage and support continuing discussion and debate through symposia, workshops, publications, etc. on the highest norms available in the matrix of Philippine culture. The NCCA also works closely with its six attached cultural agencies, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, the National Historical Commission of the Philippines, the National Museum, the National Library of the Philippines, the National Archives of the Philippines, and the Commission Sa Wikang Filipino in the implementation of cultural programs. The NCCA remains to be a unique government institution because of its close partnership with civil society, recognizing their significant contributions and encouraging their continued involvement in the development, conservation, and promotion of Philippine culture and the arts. They make up the four subcommissions, Subcommission on the Arts, Subcommission on Cultural Heritage, Subcommission on Cultural Dissemination, and Subcommission on Cultural Communities and Traditional Arts, with 19 national committees representing the 19 sectors of arts and culture and involving almost 200 executive council members nationwide. The NCCA is governed by a board of commissioners composed of the chairman and the executive director of the NCCA, the heads of the subcommissions, and the six attached cultural agencies representatives from the Senate of the Philippines, the House of Representatives, the Department of Tourism, and the Department of Education. Headquartered at the historic district of Intramuros, the NCCA Secretariat is also an important factor, providing administrative and technical support to the institution and other units, and delivering assistance to the culture and arts community and the public. These were geared towards the four subsectoral outcomes of the Philippines, anchored on the development plan for culture and the arts. The diverse roles of the NCCA falls on these programs. Program on valuing our diverse culture. Program on inculcating values for the common good. Program on advancing pagkamalikain, or creative excellence. Program on strengthening culture-sensitive governance and development. The NCCA outputs for these in 2017 and first quarter of 2018 have been substantial, benefiting more and more people and encouraging more public participation in the activities and endeavors of artists, cultural workers, and cultural communities. The vital role of the NCCA is increasingly recognized, and in this past year, many have supported its transformation into a Department of Culture. 
bills have been in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, attesting to the power of the agency to accelerate progress, arts and culture as driver and guide, and shape the nation and its soul. The NCCA conducted planning workshops to expand the contributions of the culture and art sector relative to sustainable development of peoples and communities. The projects were envisioned and have been implemented, generating greater positive impacts on the life of Filipinos, especially the vulnerable and marginalized sectors in the various regions of the country. The NCCA has been further strengthening partnerships with LGUs so that they can utilize arts and culture, a much untapped power in their development efforts. NCCA has many efforts in bringing arts and culture closer to the people, reaching out to as many communities as possible and honing their own creativity and cultivating a sense of pride for their own culture and place and in fostering a culture of caring and sharing, all of which contribute to a genuine and impactful development of society and nation. One program is the Cultural Mapping Project. In order to help the LGU identify and account for its cultural properties, the NCCA has established a cultural mapping project to assist them in this endeavor. Aside from the other significant and relevant uses of outputs from this endeavor, in 2017, 26 LGUs were assisted by NCCA in engaging in cultural mapping projects. Since 2016, the NCCA has been a member of the 17 regional development councils, leading in the efforts of inculcating of arts and culture into the development plans of the region. The Subcommittee of Culture has been created within the Social Development Committee and committed to this thrust, strengthening partnerships with the NCCA for the region's various cultural concerns. In the international level, the NCCA has been active in promoting Philippine arts and culture to both Filipinos abroad and non-Filipinos. The NCCA represented the country in important meetings and conferences of prestigious organizations such as the United Nations and ASEAN. It has also participated in cultural exchanges and bilateral agreements. The agency has actively contributed to the commemorative activities of the 50th anniversary of the ASEAN, held in the country recently. Moreover, the Philippines, through the NCCA, spearheaded the holding of the very first Budayao, the 2017 BIMP Iaga Festival on culture and arts in General Santo City, strengthening our ties with Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Since the return of the Philippines in the Venice Biennale, the NCCA, through the Philippine Arts and Venice Biennale Project, sustains the country's participation in the prestigious exhibition platform the NCCA has also tirelessly worked in the expansion of Centro Rizal, the conduit of Filipino culture to the world. Among the centers inaugurated are Seoul, South Korea, Yangon, Myanmar, Doha, Qatar, Cairo, Egypt, Agana, Guam, USA, Brunei, and Milan in Rome, Italy. These centers have received NCCA cultural packages. In the national level, the NCCA initiated the Filipino Values Formation Program Studies and discussions were facilitated nationwide. The program is expected to have the start of its second phase in August 2018, where the set of identified core values shared by all Filipinos will be fostered by the dissemination to mainstream culture via induction in school curricula and media promotion. Filipino culture is always being widely promoted, with several NCCA-produced television shows such as Dayao, Sagisa Kultura TV and Buhay na Buhay. This is beside the very active promotional activities targeting all means of communication and dissemination. The NCCA has always been recognizing excellence. It facilitates two of the most important national awards, the Order of the National Artist and the Gawad sa Mandilikha ng Bayan. It also continues to honor our artists and artisans through several means. The NCCA is at the forefront of important national celebrations, such as the National Arts Month in February, the National Literature Month in April, the International Dance Exchange, also in April, the National Heritage Month in May, and the National Indigenous Peoples Month, 
with a Dio Festival in October. It also holds other cultural celebrations to promote a deeper appreciation among the people and their rich culture. The NCCA has been especially targeting the youth. One important flagship program of the NCCA is called the School of Living Traditions, or SLT, where indigenous and traditional traditions, practices, skills, crafts, and knowledge, most of them at the brink of vanishing, are preserved and passed down to younger generations. Since its establishment, the NCCA has conducted and supported more than 600 SLTs in different parts of the country in all aspects of traditional culture, from hand weaving to epic chanting, from basket making to vernacular architecture, from dance to the making and performing of indigenous musical instruments, from rituals to endangered languages. On the other hand, Escuela Talier continues to provide scholarships to indigent and out-of-school youth. The activities of Escuela Talier are strongly anchored in its core areas of skills development, heritage conservation, and labor intermediation. These three thrusts are interconnected to empower the youth for the protection of built heritage. An important program is the Philippine Cultural Education Plan, which ensures that culture is the core and foundation of education, governance, and sustainable development. It was designed to make cultural education accessible to all sectors of Philippine society. The program continuously implements and funds cultural education trainings, scholarships, publications, among others. With the 11 culture-based trainings conducted nationwide, the NCCA was able to support 591 scholars, most of whom are public school teachers, trained 708 teachers and 80 students. The NCCA Gallery and Exhibitions program continues to provide venue to both emerging and established artists to share their visions and creativity. The gallery hosts exhibits all year round and is open to all. These are but a fraction of the multifaceted and exciting work and achievements of the NCCA. All of these are vital in crafting our identity, in building the nation, and forging a more enlightened and enriched future.